Hey guys, I'm actually going to narrate this video because I got new figures, but um, they're really old school figures. So today, me and my friend went to Bankston's, which is this comic book store, and they had like a whole tub of old, like hand-me-down Star Wars figures, and I got them really dirt cheap. So, I mean, I didn't spend as much money as I did on my more deluxe figures that I unbox. But I just want to show them off because they're both comical and just really, they're really cool vintage figures. So, first off, we have the most funkadelic man in the galaxy. If I can focus on him. Focus. Focusing. There we go. Lando. Um, his, yeah, I got him really cheap. I mean, he was a hand-me-down, of course. These are all used figures, but, oh, gosh, I don't remember if this one is the one from, um, the fourth one, A New Hope. I can't remember, but his cape is cloth, which I think is really cool. And uh, I'm not sure how old he is. He, I know the super. I have two super old or one super old one that I got, which I'll save because he's the best. I'll save the best for last. But he, this guy is actually really nice. If if it'll want to focus, his face actually looks pretty good. Ah, screw it. Just take my word for it. It looks like Lando, so he's cool. We'll set him back there. Then I got Ben Kenobi with his lightsaber. His all his clothes are claw too, except for this part. But his face also looks really good. That's pretty good. That's in focus. But his his hood is just comically oversized. But again, these are all dirt cheap. Um, he has his lightsaber. And this is when, I guess this is for the scene when uh, uh, Princess Leia gets her message out because he came with this little Tatooine table with the uh, hollow. Uh, I just lost my thoughts. Oh, when she's like hollow calling in, yeah. Um, hologram. That's that's the word. Oop. Sorry, Ben. Then I got one of the best figures ever. Admiral Akbar. He he's beautiful. Um there were there was a okay, there was a more detailed Ad, Admiral Akbar, but he was really skinny. Um and this guy, let me check the date. Hold on. I think he has his date somewhere here. Yeah, 19. This is the 1997 uh, Admiral Akbar, and the one they had was like the skinnier one, the more detailed one. Um, was from about 2000 something when they re-released these guys, but he's pretty awesome, Admiral Akbar, one of my favorite uh, Star Wars characters. <laughs> which is he has the best line I think in all the movies and that's the nice thing about Star Wars figures is that even if you get two seconds of screen time you get a figure um, the only thing I don't really like is his crotch here which is a little square for my liking but he can sit back here I mean again these are like cheapo figures so you know the only things that can really move are their arms this way and then they're like the arms only go up and down and their legs go forward and back and then uh, his head doesn't really turn but that's okay and then the best figure pimp slap hand bosk he has the pimp slap hand and he only gets maybe Two shots in the entire movie has no lines, and yet 
he is just an amazing figure. <laughs> he has the pimp slap hand. So Lando, pimp slap hand. Admiral Akbar thinks it's a trap, but no, it's actually happening. Ben can't get the pimp slap hand. I lied. He got the pimp slap hand. Um, yeah, this guy's a, vin a vintage one. He's from 1980. It says on his says on the back of his leg, manufactured in 1980. He's pretty awesome. And so yeah, I got all these figures dirt cheap. Like I said, they were just all kind of in a box, just a big old cardboard box. But um. Yeah, those are the figures I got today. Best figure, best Star Wars figure ever, I believe. Um, just because of the pimp slap hand. It's also a high five hand. Oh yeah. Bosk for the win. Alright, that's the end of this video. Uh, next Tuesday, I'm going to be unboxing Final Fantasy XIII 2, which will be an amazing game. So, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.